2024, a day that we will remember as the end of the beginning and the beginning of our future. We thought this day would never come, which is understandable given that we've spent about 14,040 hours in school over these past 13 years. We've grown together and we've grown together and formed memories and lasting friendships. In my time here at Capitol, I've learned many things, like how to balance chemical equations, how to write a good essay. I've learned about our founding fathers and John C. Calhoun, and how to find derivatives, and how to integrate. These years have been filled with endless knowledge and learning. However, the most important thing I've learned is not part of our curriculum. We do not need a class on it to graduate, and it doesn't count for any college credit. But I feel it's one of the most important things in life. Inclusion. The dictionary definition of inclusion is a practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized. Some think that inclusion needs to be some big grand gesture, but it really doesn't. Inclusion can be as easy as smiling at someone in the hall or having lunch with them. Inclusion, at its very basic level, is kindness. My favorite class these past years has been Unified PE. For those who don't know, Unified PE is a class that brings together juniors and seniors with varying intellectual abilities. We make adaptations when necessary and make sure everyone is included in all of our activities. These activities range from basketball and soccer to skiing and ice fishing to weekly Just Dance Fridays. Unified PE has really shown me how impactful inclusion can be. I've had the privilege to watch as my teammates fulfill their dreams of being basketball players, soccer players, and runners through Special Olympics. I have watched and experienced with them the joy of winning and the sadness of missing a goal and the true meaning of inclusion when everyone on the court stops to cheer when one athlete makes a basket or a goal. Without these opportunities, these valuable students would only be dreaming. Now, they have accomplished these dreams and can move on to new ones. We've won medals together, trained together, and grown together. Seeing my teammate move to tears simply because he's so happy to finally be able to play basketball on a team is one of the most inspiring moments for me. Sometimes, it's hard to understand or put inclusion into practice. I heard it once described as diversity is inviting someone to a dance, but inclusion is dancing with them. And this is so clearly displayed through our Just Dance Fridays as we all come together to dance to Waka Waka from Shakira and What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. We have all felt excluded at times, and we all know it feels sad, lonely, and awful. Our world is so quick to point out differences that we forget to look for similarities in common ground. And when we do see differences, we forget that these differences are what make us unique and beautiful and interesting. Let's stop excluding and start including. At the end of the day, our true legacy is not going to be our grades, or how much money we make, or how big our house is. Our legacy will be how we made others feel. Memories fade, but emotions do not. How we treat others stays with them and us for a long time. So, we have checked the box on these 14,000 hours of school, and we are at the end of the beginning. For the beginning of our future, let's remember inclusion. Let's make people smile, and let's spread kindness like it's confetti on graduation day. Thank you.